Jay-Z is one of the richest musicians in the world, having achieved billionaire status, and you can bet he's living a life of luxury with his wife Beyonce and their kids. Music is far from the only way the hip-hop mogul has earned his fortune, and he's managed to build up quite an empire. This has afforded him properties all over, from multi-million dollar mansions in the Hamptons, his eight-figure custom estate in Bel Air. We'll be checking out Jay-Z's properties, and we even found some of the listings. Sean Carter, known to the world by his stage name Jay-Z, is a rapper, songwriter, record exec, entrepreneur, and more, who's in fact the first hip-hop billionaire. He started his career in music way back in 95 after founding the label Rockefeller Records, releasing his debut album a year later. It may have only been his first try, but the album achieved critical success and was enough to solidify his place in the music industry. Over the years, Jay-Z has also gained attention for his career as a businessman. There was his clothing line Rockwear and his luxury sports bar chain 4040 club for example, which both became multi-million dollar corporations as well as other ventures. Like I mentioned, Jay-Z's empire has awarded him billionaire status and according to Wikipedia, he's the fifth wealthiest African American and the wealthiest American musician. So for those of you asking who's richer, Jay-Z or Beyonce, there's your answer. But I won't downplay her mega fortune either, she's worth at least 355 mil. Although Jay-Z has achieved success most of us only dream of, it wasn't without a rough start. He grew up in Brooklyn's Marcy houses, which was in a pretty rough area of New York. The rapper claims these humble beginnings helped shape him and he constantly shouts out his old hood in his work. Hey guys, it's Karen here doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be giving you all the details on where billionaire Jay-Z calls home with his family and let me tell you, it's a far cry from those Marcy houses. We'll see his multi-million dollar mansions in Bel Air, the Hamptons and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed or ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Young Thug and LeBron James and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me over on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Although Jay-Z ended up investing an insane amount of money on a family home in Los Angeles, he and Beyonce used to rent once upon a time. Before they found their dream home, the power couple leased this place for reported 150 k per month back in 2015. They were on a one-year lease, so I'm guessing this was while they were house hunting for their current place. Jay-Z's previous rental property was located in Los Angeles in the elite celeb-filled community of Holmby Hills, home to the famous Playboy Mansion and Kylie Jenner's new mega estate she just bought. The current estimated value of this home is over $52 million, so I'm not surprised with that rental cost. Inside Jay-Z's previous mansion, it spanned over 20,000 square feet of living space with 5 beds and 6 baths. Everything in this home was fit for royalty from the moment you walked in the large front door. There's a double height entryway and main living spaces with classic fireplaces and large floor to ceiling windows in almost every room. There were stone terraces and balconies branching off the home, so many that it's hard to keep count. It's clear that Jay-Z only likes living in the best homes and this one had everything you could imagine. There were the expected spaces like multiple living and family rooms, a state-of-the-art kitchen and large formal dining room with fireplaces in almost every room. Then other features included a library and even an indoor Olympic-sized swimming pool and spa. Outside, the grounds of the mansion also had a pool, this one with a waterfall. It's safe to say that although he was only renting, I'm sure Jay-Z enjoyed living in this place for a year. So if you haven't already seen or heard about it, Jay-Z's main home is reportedly this obscene estate in Bel Air. Apparently this property last changed hands in 2013 for $15 million, at least according to Redfin. It was then built from the ground up by Irish firm McKillen Developments and designed by architect Paul McLean. Originally, the estate was listed at an insane, wait for it, $135 million, but that was over Jay-Z's budget. At least he wasn't interested in paying that much. Sources say he and Beyonce landed the home with an offer of $90 million in August 2017 after months of speculation as to who would win the bidding war. Public records show the couple made the purchase through blind trust, mortgaging a whopping $52.8 million, meaning they put down $35 million or so in cash. Despite the discounted rate, it was still the sixth highest price paid for a single family home in Los Angeles County at the time. Jay-Z's massive compound is located near Bel Air's Eastgate, of course, in an elite and celeb-filled neighborhood. The property covers about two hillside acres of land and is 
completely hidden behind massive iron gates, so it's definitely secure and hard to reach. This spec built compound is made up of six sleek glass walled buildings, spanning a total of 30,000 square feet of interior space. In total, there are eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. The three story main residence on Jay Z's property has a sculpted circular staircase running through it lined with leather, as well as walls of bulletproof floor to ceiling glass windows that open electronically with the touch of a button. There's a classy office or library we can see in the photos, which I'm sure is one of many, as well as a home movie theater. Most of the bedrooms offer floor to ceiling glass sliders leading to the balconies and views of LA. There are also attached marble bathrooms and in a minimalistic one that looks like the master ensuite, it's fully enclosed in glass. Another 10,000 or so square feet of outdoor living space offers Jay-Z and his family an outdoor lounge under a cantilevered roof, a full-size basketball court, a spa and wellness center, a 15-car garage, and separate staff quarters. Let's not forget that among the many high-end amenities at this home, there are also four outdoor swimming pools. Yes, four. Each of them offering different views of LA. One of the pools is even perched on the roof. Aside from Bel Air, Jay-Z also has a mega mansion in the Hamptons. After renting big homes here for vacations year after year, the fam decided to invest in property of their own. In 2017, the Carters became part of the posh Hamptons crowd, buying this mansion, also known as the Pawn House, for just under $26 million. It sits on an elevated two sprawling acres of land, complete with 203 feet of waterfront. Designed by Stanford White, the 100-year-old home is also right beside 17 acres of meadow preserve. The previous owners before JD and the fam got their hands on this place put the mansion through some extensive renovations, even rotating the entire structure 90 degrees. Why you may ask? So the 30 foot high living room now faces west over the water instead of north for perfect views of the sunset. Inside Jay Z's Hampton estate spans about 12,000 square feet of living space with 7 beds and 7 and a half baths. There is also an additional detached 1800 square foot guest cottage on the property offering 2 beds, 1 bath, a living room and a kitchen. This stunning mansion features bathrooms sculpted with marble from Verona, Italy, along with patina match tubs, tiles, and counters, all carved from single blocks of stone by European craftsmen. Hand milled woodwork can also be seen throughout the home. From photos, we can see there's a large double height entryway, oversized staircase, and archways leading to other rooms of the home. There is also an expansive great room with double height ceilings, full wall of windows, two fireplaces, and balconies from the upper level looking over the space. Outside on the grounds, you'll find an infinity pool and spa on the pond side of the property, as well as an outdoor grilling area. So now we've taken a look at where hip hop billionaire Jay Z and his family call home these days, like their crazy $90 million compound in Bel Air and their Hamptons estate. Some argue that the ultra modern mansion in Bel Air wasn't actually purchased by the couple, but most reports say otherwise, and we know that money isn't an issue for Jay Z, so it makes sense that they were the ones to buy this place. These are just naturally a couple of the many homes in the Carter real estate portfolio. Jay Z and Beyonce currently own properties in Manhattan, like the Tribeca penthouse they got hitched at years ago, a home in New Orleans, and more. Any rentals they've called home are also extravagant, like the Holmby Hills mansion we looked at earlier. Not to mention, they also lease a 400k per month oceanfront Malibu spot when their twins were born for some time. Anyways, after looking at Jay Z's mega mansions, which ones did you like the best? Honestly, as impressive as his Bel Air spot is, it's a bit too modern and minimalistic for me, and I gotta say that their Hamptons home is my fave. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't and you wanna chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!